So our next guest has travelled all around the globe and met all kinds of people. But the story Ben Fogel uncovered in his latest adventure was seems like something from a film. So much so that he's going to make a film about it. It's the latest series of New Lives in the Wild and Ben meets a composer, Vanessa Ferrero. Now, Vanessa's mum was raised by monkeys in the jungle. It's an extraordinary story. Ben joins us now. Morning, Ben. Good morning. I was fascinated watching this episode, not least because Vanessa was so full of joy and life and was living in an extraordinary place. And then halfway through the app, she starts telling you the story about her mother. You couldn't make it up. I mean, it's, it's really a, a fascinating story because there's a lot of people that would be very sceptical about yes. it. You know, well, exactly. It's, it, well, it's difficult because to find... Because this is the, the sort of darks of Colombia in a very troubled time, mm. wasn't it, when her mum... A lot of people were kidnapped. Hundreds of thousands of people were and kidnapped. she was a child. She was five years old. No one really knows. We, we speculate, we think she was about five years old. She doesn't know her name. Uh, she gave herself a name, uh, Marina, and... She's still with they, us, because you speak to her, don't you? And I've met her up in Yorkshire um, last year, in fact. I, I went to see her. And I, w what I can say, because there will be lots of people that watch the show and will think, really, could that have happened? I, I think I'm quite a good judge of character. Right. And having, having met her, m uh, Vanessa, who I spent time with in Colombia's mum, a few times now, I know the story is true. Now, how long she was in the jungle, we don't really know. But what's really fascinating is that her daughter, Vanessa, ended up in the Colombian mm, jungle because of the whole story. She went with her mother to try and piece together the past and fell in love with it. And, and I... under understanding how somebody who was kidnapped in Colombia was raised by monkeys in the jungle for somewhere between five to ten years and then somehow ends up in Bradford and, and falls in love with somebody in a church and the, and the impact that that has. The whole thing is gripping, Ben. It is like a, a film script. And, and I understand that that's something that you're sort of looking to try and make something out of this. I've always wanted to kind of make a film. And this just feels like the perfect topic. Um, I got on really well with Vanessa. And uh, so I'm hoping, yeah, we'll, we'll return. But, you know, this is just one of 12 different shows in this new series. And that's what really excites me. We've been making this for about 13 years. We're series 18 or so. And every time I travel to a new place, I never know what's going to be inside the, the, the box, in, inside this mysterious parcel, the fantastic stories that uh, we're going to uncover. What sort of character abandons their safe, comfortable, familiar life to go and do the kinds of things that you report on? Well, there, there have been a lot of changes over the years that I've been doing this. In the first instance, uh, it was a lot of men, slightly older men. And what I've noticed over the years is, A, a lot of women have been doing it, and they tend to be the strongest, uh, interestingly, but also a lot of young people. So in this series, in fact, on next week's show, it's a young couple, she's Irish, he's, uh, he, he is from London, and they uh, ended up becoming caretakers on, on a remote Irish island called Great Blasket. Beautiful, beautiful it's island. stunning, but it's got no sort of electricity anything it's got, it's got nothing that's the point ben it's off grid, uh, off -grid. you know th this is the beautiful thing i think i think a lot of people have realized their lives are so complicated uh, you know, life is not easy right now. There's a, there's a lot of troubles in the world. And I think what a lot of people are realising is that actually less is more. And by actually uh, thinning out your life materially with all the items that you have and also just by withdrawing from the world of, of um, online social media, all of those things, yeah. consumerism, yeah. you can be a happier person. It's a bit like what you did, isn't it? What it is, is it, 20 years ago? 25 years ago, On Castaway, Cast mm -hmm. which is how we all got to know you. Mm -hmm. And it was sort of the first of its kind, wasn't it? Oh, you changed the world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? It gives me such happy... You know, I, I loved that whole experience. Yes. It was amazing. And it, it changed my whole life. And I... Um, I love the fact that I go to visit kind of modern day versions of that now. And in fact, I've put together a whole tour. I'm, I'm touring theatres all around the UK later this year to piece together all the elements of my wild experiences, climbing Everest, meeting the different people like yeah, Vanessa and putting it together. In fact, Vanessa, um, who's an amazing musician, has put together all the music for the, me. The song you write at the oh, end wonderful. is very funny. It's brilliant. It's lovely watching you interact with these people as well. Because you really throw yourself into it. I mean, you've got a young family, you've got a wife back home, but you go and live in the wilds for a week at a time. You're completely immersed in what they're doing. 
And I really, I, I become a big part, they become a big part of my life, whether they realise it or not. I, I'm, I'm a bit of an empath and I do find myself absorbing all these stories. And it's, in one sense, I feel unbelievably lucky because I get to meet such inspiring people, but it does weigh quite a lot on me as well. I feel a great responsibility for their stories and, and their safety and health, all of these yeah. things. That's, that's interesting you say that because a lot of them are disappearing from a very busy society to go and live by themselves. And we're naturally social, tribal creatures, mm. aren't we? Mm -hmm. Do people not end up feeling isolated and so dis... <laughs> Someone did over there. My goodness, sorry. Is everybody OK? Is that Andy scenes? Peters been toxifying coffee this morning <laughs> as well? That'll be the vodka. Do people feel like, actually, there's a point where they want to come back? Not, re not really. That uh, Of the 110 or so individuals, couples, families that I've been to, only a handful that I know of have decided to return to civilization. Right. The majority have actually gone even deeper into their really? off-grid lifestyle. I Do think your that... family worry that you're sort of erring on the yeah. side of going deep into the sort of isolation <laughs> and you want to drag them with you? Or are they, are they sort of very happy where they are, Ben? Ben, for years and years, I've said this is how I would love to live. But, you know, we all make concessions in life and I love my lifestyle in rural Oxfordshire with my family I love. And they've got their friends, they've got mm. their life. So I am happy to go off and live vicariously through other people, yeah. but I love the idea of doing yeah. it. I, look, I'm as antisocial as the next person, perhaps more <laughs> antisocial. But even I think I just would get lonely. And we, it's the human condition to need to be around other I people. I don't think you it? can be lonely when you're in a beautiful environment. And most of it, you know, when you're like next week's show, Great Blasket Island, it's a very lonely remote place, but it's unbelievably beautiful. But are... also very bleak at times as well, Ben. They get cut off from the mainland, which is not that far away, mm. and they can't. Pe people can't get in. I mean, the, the, but bleakness there... is in the eye of the beholder. Well, when you're there, it's beautiful oh. sunshine yeah. at times and stuff. And, and it, you're it, there. It is. And you, <laughs> yes. And then suddenly there'll be periods when it's you know they can barely go out because of the wind and the rain and. And, the, and this is an important thing. You can't escape your internal um, thoughts. And a lot of people who are trying to escape something do bring those with them. But there's great therapy that comes from being in a wild, simple environment. And a lot of, you know, a lot of people are suffering from mental health sure. problems. And it is definitely a great antidote. Yeah, it's a good point. So Very the new show's next Tuesday? Ne next Tuesday, 9pm uh, on Channel 5, and my uh, theatre tour, Wild, uh, coming in in uh, March, all and across the UK. And the movie about Vanessa's mum. Oh, watch this space. Amazing. It is a gripping episode, it's, and that story is marvellous. Yeah, thank Great you, to see you, Ben. Thanks for Lovely coming. Lovely to see you.